Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about T2 and T3, or thyroid hormone 2 and thyroid hormone 3. Um, before we get into that, please remember, I am not a doctor, I am not a chemist, nor do I pretend to be either one of those things. I do not encourage the use of any supplements or substances, legal or illegal, in this video strictly for educational and entertainment purposes only. So, T2 is essentially a precursor hormone, a pro-hormone, if you will, to T3. T3 is the active thyroid hor hormone that does not distinguish between muscle and fat and will break down the body's uh, system. It will increase your metabolism. Uh, people who have thyroid-related issues who may not produce the correct amount of T3 will often be given T4 or T2, which are precursors, so that enough T3 will be generated. However, sometimes they have to be given just T3 directly. Otherwise, um, their body will not have enough enzymatic processes to make T3 out of T2 and T4. Um, I do not know a lot about T4, so I'm going to mainly stick to T2. T2, in and of itself, when you take it, will not directly convert into T3. It will convert on a per-needed basis. So if your body needs more T3, it will create more T3 from T2. So if you are supplementing with T2 exogenously in pill form, which we know uh, is bioavailable, or at least I believe the research suggests that it's bioavailable, uh, obviously do your own research, it shows that it can increase the amount of T3 in your body. I've taken T2 before, and I think it's extremely useful, especially if someone's using uh, like an an ephedrine and caffeine blend, which is shown to uh, to make it uh, that there is more T3 conversion in the body, then if you take an extreme amount of T2, you'll have an even more convert uh, an even higher conversion rate of uh, T2 to T4 because you'll have more T2 and you will have uh, ephedrine and caffeine causing this system to convert more into T3. Now, obviously, the effects of uh, ephedrine and caffeine do wane. So, T3 is the one that I don't believe is legal, and I, I, well, at least I think it's a gray market supplement, so it's legal with a doctor's prescription, and I think it's not directly said that it's illegal in any sort of literature, like any sort of uh, uh, laws. But regardless, I'm not a lawyer or anything like that, so don't take my word for it. Always talk to your doctor, especially when it comes to these substances, because T2 can impact people who have thyroid problems dramatically. And you do not want to have any sort of issues where you are having extreme muscle loss because you took T2 and didn't realize that you have a hyperactive thyroid because you didn't talk to your doctor, and you decided to supplement it without you know, knowing what you were doing. Um, always do your own research as well. But T3 is active thyroid hormone. Bodybuilders used to take this in conjunction with things that would hold the muscle, like steroids and uh, maybe something like an HGH, but that wouldn't really hold the muscle. But let's stick with anabolic steroids because we know that uh, things like Trenbolone specifically do a good job at holding the muscle. I don't like Trenbolone because of its extreme side effects, but getting back to the point, it holds muscle. Uh, and by holding muscle, I mean when you lose weight and are in a calorie deficit, it shines at being able to keep muscle on your frame. Now, this is important, uh, especially when you're doing taking T3 because T3 does not discriminate. It removes on a per calorie needed basis. It will remove fat or muscle. And if it thinks you are getting too low in fat, it will start to remove muscle. Obviously, it will probably remove fat more than muscle to start if you're at a higher fat percentage, but as you get into a lower fat percentage, say around 15 to 10%, I would imagine it starts to switch over. It's like, hey, we could probably do to lose a little bit more of this muscle, especially if you're a large bodybuilder. Now, T2 is legal and it's sold as a supplement. I actually enjoy the supplement. I am not sponsored. Um, I've used it in the past. I think it has very mild effects. I don't think it's going to be dramatic. Um, if you take it in conjunction with caffeine or uh, yohimbine uh, and in the correct dosagings for those, because obviously, as I've told you before, yohimbine has to be taken very specifically for its effects to work. But if you use those all correctly, it, I think it has potential to show dramatic effects in um, fat loss. Now, uh, T2 is a way of, as Ryan Russo would put it, stacking the ammo. It's a way to, when your body needs 
to have more T2, it's already there. It doesn't have to create it. It doesn't need something else to happen, a, a mechanism in your body to happen. It can already convert it into T3 given that it has enough enzymatic activity. And so the thing is, um, it's not just going to happen. A lot of the time it has to be on a per need basis. So if you're taking in a lot of T2, if you're taking in a lot of T2, and you are exercising, maybe you're doing a lot of stair climbers or running or walking and you're burning more calorie, you know, you're burning more calories than you eat consume in a day, your body's going to go, oh, well, I need to break down tissue to able to be sustained. So therefore I need to have more T3. Hey, there's all this T2 that was exo exogenously supplied to me. And then it is uh, um, u utilized for T3. Now, I do need to stress that thyroid stimulating hormone, which is a pr like before all of this, it is what makes all of the thyroid hormone chain reaction of creating thyroid hormones happens in the first place, can be shut down by taking thyroid hormones. This is it's not without consequence. But the thing is, unlike taking like a testosterone or an estrogen, like a birth control or, you know, testosterone replacement therapy, you can bounce back rather quickly with thyroid hormones. I think the literature shows within a month. I could be wrong. Again, always do your own research. But relatively, it's considered to be safer. Um, but always, you know, always talk to your doctor if you're going to consider doing something like this. I know I say that a lot, but there's a lot of things people don't consider. Like, let's say you have a hyperactive, uh, hyperactive thyroid, and then you take T3 on top of it. If you have too much T3, not only can you strip muscle, but you can actually get severe side effects. I do not know all of them, but um, I'm, I mean, obviously something that uh, takes, strips away tissue from the body is not going to be great, especially when you're using it in an abusive scale, or even if you're not, and you just have a high, you know, a high T3 naturally, and then you take this on top to where it would be abusive to your body. And let's say your thyroid doesn't get shut down from taking this from some weird circumstance. That's a recipe for disaster. And you really don't want that. I'm not going to give dosaging for either of these things. Um, or, or for T3, at least for T2. Um, I've seen it at a whole host of dosages. Uh, T3, I again, I'm not really going to give dosages on it because I don't think it's legal. And even if it was, I don't encourage people to take active thyroid, thyroid hormone as much because it can be dangerous to play around with, especially because you can lose so much muscle from it. Um, that's what's nice about T2 is it's only a per needed basis. So it's a lot more likely that you're going to burn tissue that you want removed rather than removing muscle. There's never the guarantee, but, you know, uh, theoretically, that's how it would work out. Anyway, um, T2, I, I've seen in a whole host of dosages, I've heard that even some small level dosages can work great. Um, and so it will shut down a little bit of the upstream activity, which would be thyroid stimulating hormone before T2. And then T2 into T3 activity would still remain either the same or higher because you're boosting it but uh, thyroid stimulating hormone might be suppressed while you're taking the T2, but I've heard it bounces back relatively quickly. Again, do your own research. So that is going to be it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below on what you think of this supplement and uh, T3 or T2 in general, um, and any other things that you want me to talk about, especially in weight loss or bodybuilding. Um, if you are interested in any of that stuff, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I think I already said that. And then with Rumble, please hit that Rumble button. Now, I hope everyone is doing great. For now, go out and have a great one. And remember to keep those shoulders back and down.